Doctors are prescribing opioids so dangerous that the federal government requires additional certification. But a Raycom national investigation discovered Big Pharma is administering regulatory control with the government's blessing. Here's Lee Zurich with a license to pill. Headlines broadcasting big penalties. McKesson has agreed to pay the U.S. government a record $150 million fine. During the country's deadly opioid epidemic, the nation's largest drug distributor faces mounting lawsuits, sanctions, a company in the headlines California for the wrong reasons. States. McKesson Corporation overcharged them for drugs supplied to Medicaid patients. But while the federal government has accused McKesson Corporation of suspicious business practices, it sort of shocks your conscience. In 2012, the same federal government entrusted McKesson to begin overseeing a program responsible for regulating whether doctors properly prescribe the most dangerous opioids on the market. Does that really make sense? No, it's given the uh, the inmates the the. the the keys to the, you know, to the, to the jail doors. About seven years ago, the FDA approved what's called the Turf REMS program to prevent misuse and abuse of fast-acting fentanyl drugs, which can be up to 100 times more powerful than morphine. The Turf REMS website says these drugs are indicated only for the management of breakthrough pain in adult cancer patients who are already taking opioids. The purpose of the Turf Rums program is to make sure that these drugs stay only with those that it's indicated for and it's proven safe for. And that has not happened. And having McKesson oversee it certainly is not going to serve that purpose. Hollowell's client, Dina Demarest, may help explain why. I should be dead. I never really, like, said it out loud. Following a minor surgery, a family friend referred Demarest to New York City doctor Jeffrey Goldstein, who prescribed her a powerful fentanyl spray for cancer pain, sepsis. Demarest never had cancer. From what he was giving me, people died from a lot less. Subsys is one of 10 drugs in the Turf REMS program. Program guidelines require doctors and their patients to both review and sign this form, which warns them of the seriousness of the Turf REMS drug. Have you ever seen a form like this? No. You've never seen this? That form part of the program administered by McKesson. McKesson declined our request for an on-camera interview. They wouldn't tell us if Goldstein or any other doctor has been sanctioned. In an email, McKesson did write the requirements of a REMS program are developed jointly by the manufacturers and the FDA, with ultimate approval resting with the FDA. The FDA also declined our request for an interview. The FDA admits to a hands-off approach to the program. They don't even know the names of the doctors Turf REM certified. The FDA is aware of serious concerns about drugs prescribed in this program. Its own website shows harmful reactions from patients given these potent drugs to treat relatively minor medical issues like migraines. With McKesson administering the program in a three-year period, Turf Rem's brand name prescriptions in Medicare more than doubled. A company handed the keys to an opioid oversight program with the blessing of the federal government that also fined McKesson a record $150 million for fueling the opioid epidemic.